Okay, welcome back to Shiny Hat Gaming. We're starting a new series with Deadly Premonition. It's good to be back. We've had too much adulting going on in our lives, and we haven't been able to record. Adulting sucks. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> adulting, traffic, all of these things, they suck. Ah, uh, yes, the three-hour traffic night. Yeah, that was horrible. We don't even live in L.A. <clears throat> it's just snowy. It's what happens when it snows and no one knows how to drive. Okay. I mean, duh, right? Right. So, Deadly Premonition. Okay, this is the one that's kind of like Twin Peaks, right? This is one of my favorite video games of all time, actually. Really? This is like the best B-movie of video games. Oh, no. A B-movie? Yeah. Really? Why am I getting involved in that? Because it's amazing. But, B. Like, by <laughs> definition, they're kind of bad, right? No, actually, the society really needs Bs. If the world loses its B population... Uh, this is going to actually spell catastrophe. Oh, yeah, books. just because you're quoting Einstein, you think you're right. I didn't even know that was Einstein. I thought it was Al Gore. Supposedly, Einstein said something about, like, the bee population dying and humanity will follow, but I think it's kind of like that one quote that attributes the invention of the internet to Abe Lincoln or whatever, so I'm pretty sure it's not real. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying. The quote about Abe Lincoln, by the way, is, don't believe everything you read on the internet, quote, Abe Lincoln. Okay, that's true. But that, I, I feel like it's that kind of thing where it's attributed to the wrong person. Why are our exclamation points sideways? Because uh, it's actually a coding language. Those oh, are slashes. Oh, it's his grandpa. That makes a lot more sense because I was thinking the redneck guy looked really old. Well, they call him grandpa, but he's actually just, you know, they are actually clones of him. What? They are? No, not a, I'm. That's a fan theory. Why is that a fan... Who's making a fan theory about the opening cutscene of Deadly Premonition? Is that, like, essential to the story? Boy, they look like those creepy twins from The Shining. I'm sorry, do you not make fan theories about the openings to bad and obscure video games? No, not really. I thought well, you said you this know, was a great video game. I feel lied to. <laughs> Sweary designed the game. That's, re <laughs> that's good. We're in good hands. Yeah, really? <laughs> Sweary. I think about them a lot. Oh, man. Look at the rendering on that forest. It's beautiful. It just really... It feels like I'm actually in Twin Peaks. Okay. I mean, not so Twin I've, Peaks. I have a question. How is this like Twin Peaks? Because we only watched the first season, and the first season was just weird and not very supernaturally and that kind of thing. So, this is Twin Peaks with the supernaturally turned up to about a billion. Um, um, starts with the death of not Laura Palmer here. I see. What are we seeing? Because it looks very... Whoa. <laughs> Those are some hairy boobs. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, this looks like the, uh, second murder in True Detective, okay? Like... These kids are about to hit puberty. Hit puberty? Ew! <laughs> so is she wearing a skirt, or is that blood? That's not blood. It's some kind of, like, red cloak. I think she died next to some curtains. All that we need is a set of antlers, and it's True Detective. Where's, right. Where's but Matthew McConaughey? You have to remember, like this him. actually came before True Detective. Oh, no, I know that. I'm not... My point is, like, True Detective maybe is copying. No, they're probably not. Let's, I, let's be honest. Okay, so these kids are staring at this dead body, and Grandpa's just, like, lumbering up behind them, staring at his feet, and that's why he doesn't notice the body? I really gotta get these gankers looked at. Oh, shit, dead woman! Oh, Anna, he knows her. Yeah, that, it's, well, that's it's like, a bad sign. It's like how everybody knows Laura Palmer. Uh, well, he reminded me of the Avery guy from Making a Murderer, so I like how is all that the bad? Names, all the names have been Japanese, and then the associate producer is Louis Lamar. <laughs> um, there's a snake crawling on her titties. A very flesh-colored snake. Yeah, it's um, a little disturbing, to be honest. Subtlety is what that is. That's Subtlety? subtlety. Really? Subtlety? That's not the word I was going to go with. <laughs> Deadly premonition. How can it be a premonition if she's already dead? Because the, the premonition comes on our end. Uh, our end? Right. You'll see. So this is the local cops. Okay. And they're like, wow, this is really poorly rendered. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what I was thinking, right? I mean, That's this, most cops' first this... reaction. Okay. So is she the badass Rachel McAdams character that's super fucked up, but no one will talk about it? No, she's the 14-year-old deputy with gigantic boobs. She's 14? I don't think so, but you'll think that she is. Okay, really? These two little kids saw a dead body, and they're more fascinated by a ladybug. <laughs> I don't know what boobs are. Let's look at this ladybug! Did you notice they had super terrifying Japanese anime character eyes? Did you notice that this game is made by a collection of all Japanese people and then one American guy who clearly was the let's uh, talk about, you know, 
What the well, hell? That explains the eyes. Why is she masturbating in this opening cutscene? I haven't ever seen this part of the cutscene. Oh, I think this is her mother. Yeah, oh. that's her mother. Oh, that... Why did they... No, I don't even want to know. That's gross. Oh, and then this is her mother in an alternate universe where she's not blonde. Wait, but then who is she really? That's actually her best friend. You, you remember, it's all pulled right from Twin Peaks. Like, okay, how did they get away with that? Because, I don't know, David Lynch didn't sue them. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where's the creepy one that's way too young I think, that hits I think on the that's, FBI guy? I think that's her. That's her? I think her? that's okay. the one that's creepy way too young is going to hit Laura on the Laura Flynn FBI Boyle guy. or yeah. whatever her character, whatever the actress's name is? Yeah, because she's the one who like runs the big building with a spiky statue. I'm going to go with that. Okay. Oh, this is the really effeminate detective. But not he's actually, he's, he's a deputy, not a, de not a detective. But he's weeping? Yeah, strangely, well, in a bar? I just remember, they're all with sad a, with because... With a transvestite? At, <laughs> Did you see the shoulders? <laughs> all the people in town knew the girl. That's the whole point. Do you remember? Directed it was by directed Sweary. by Sweary as wow, well. Wow, we really are in good hands. Great hands. Looking forward to it. I mean, if you're gonna pick a name, are you? Why are you picking Sweary? Why'd you pick Bishop? Why'd you pick Equinox? Because it's a fucking sweet name, and it <laughs> means balance. We're gonna because... go easy because this game is pretty violent. Okay, you didn't let me get to finish explaining uh, my name. Thank you. That's because let's be honest, we all. Whoa, just it's pick... the Joker. <laughs> we all just pick internet names because they sound cool. Okay. No, no. I picked mine because the equinox is the time of balance between night and day. And you're the balance between weird and weird. That was hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> it also wasn't very accurate. There has to be some balance between more than just weird. So you remember in the TV show he had those weird dreams? Yeah, this, with the red walls. Yeah, this is his weird dream. Whose weird dream? Who are we? We don't even know who our character is yet. You just saw his beautiful chisel. What the fuck is happening here? His Ryan Gosling face. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What happened to his Ryan Gosling face? <laughs> okay, so let's... Is his name York? Is yeah. that what it says there? Okay. All right, so B observes things. Okay. A white screen. Yes. Good call, York. Oh, uh, yeah, we collected our okay. own card. You got Francis. What Bjork kind of Morgan. cards are these? Like Pokemon cards of your characters, or what? Exactly, a doll shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it which reads Washington State. What? They're all dolls shaped like fat men from all over the country. This game is already terrifying. What think, is happening? I think, I think those are locations of the serial killer's murders. Oh, okay, that makes sense. A strange clock is ticking away, though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. That's because aren't we in a dream? He doesn't know that. Oh, well. It will start soon. These children are probably going to murder us. Those are the same little boys that found the dead body, right? Yes. Shouldn't they be suspects? I mean, clearly they're creepy as shit, so... <laughs> Originally, they were going to be the dwarf, like in the, in the dream in the TV show, but they had to split it up and make it two little kids so it wasn't too Twin Peaksy. I don't remember the dwarf in the TV show. Oh my god, that's like my favorite part. What? Okay, now this is him talking to us. We are Zack. What do you mean? I mean, we're his imaginary friend who controls him. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Wait a second. See, I had to answer there. I thought you went to sleep. I'm super confused. I, I almost did go to sleep because of the long cutscene. Wait a second. I'm really confused. So... We are his imaginary we're, friend. We're Zack, mm -hmm. but we're controlling York. Right, but he I don't think he knows that we're controlling him. He just talks to us. So you're, he's a split personality? No, he has an imaginary friend. How hard is this to understand? Do you not have imaginary friends? Not that I talk to and help me solve crimes and shit, no. All right, now this is where he's driving very responsibly. <laughs> Whoa. Totally wrong. Smoke it. <laughs> oh, listen to the music. Jazz. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. It's like I dream of Genie. So try and try and figure out what he's talking about. Interdependence. While, while he's on the on the on the web. <laughs> How is he on the web in his car? Hot. There's no way mobile phone hotspots were created by the time this was around. Okay. 2005. Sure they were. What? No fucking way. Yeah, they had 4G. Not 4G. They had 3G hotspots. It. 
You realize that was 11 years ago, right? Yes, I realized that was 11 years ago. We were still in high school. There's yes, no way we could have had a yes. hot spot in our yes. car. Yes, we could have. If we worked for the FBI and smoked. Wait a second. Tom and Jerry. Yeah, he was talking about Tom and Jerry. <laughs> What's wrong with this dude? <laughs> Tom and Jerry smoking on his phone, on the internet, while it's raining, talking to his imaginary friend. At night. At night. <laughs> if now the, oh, now he's Jerry getting a network service. Error. He needs more um, drugs. How how is this man not like locked up somewhere in a mental institution for not all only, of his issues? Not only is he not locked up, he carries a gun and a badge. Wow. He's a national federal agent. That's terrifying. What is wrong with his face? What are those lines? And frankly, I'm not really keen on his choice in ties. Police, really? His really police his brand tie? cigarettes? Oh, police brand cigarettes! <laughs> I did not know the police made cigarettes. I didn't either. Also, he's not with the police. He's with the FBI. So why doesn't he have FBI brand cigarettes? Wait, wait, wait. He says, I got this when I arrested this cat woman wannabe. Is that the scars on his face? Yes. And then he said so women are crazy. So he got attacked by Halle Berry? Yeah, basically. And there's no smoking lighter. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Everything in his life is supposed to be clever, and he's just an idiot. Right. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, see, this is why you don't do all of these things all at once at night while it's raining and He's you're smoking. <laughs> Wait, is he trying to drive down the hill? <laughs> oh, my such, God. Such oh, get the squirrels out of the way. That's really the important part here. Wait a second. A minute ago, he was steering and then his car rolled sideways. What just happened? He flipped it. Oh, my God. Oh, man, that poor Mustang. Whoa, look how ancient that fucking computer is. <laughs> We're good. Oh, he's fine. He can walk after that? Walk it off, buddy. He must have had one of those, like, 15-point seatbelt harness things they put you in to go to space or something. All right. Oh, now his lighter works. <laughs> time for smoke. How is it not being put out by the rain? <laughs> Oh, God. It's a it's magic beautiful. cigarette. Look, his cigarette's only slightly bent after his car accident. Apparently, it's too wet. Oh, something is realistic. <sighs> there we go. That's it. My police blur in cigarettes. That's the stuff. <laughs> gotta, have my, gotta have my cigarweed. Here goes the civilized world. Why is he oh. talking to himself? That's so creepy. He's not. He's talking to us. Okay, the Joker thing really has to stop because it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> it's never gonna stop. Really? I don't. But Babe, do you like my big survival knife? But I was looking into <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the reaction. That's the reaction you look for. Babe, do you like my big knife? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so surprising. <laughs> okay, we'll end this episode here. And in the next episode, we'll actually start playing. Oh my god, really? We're going to do stuff? Yeah, I We know. won't just watch cutscenes? Okay, deal. All right, bye-bye. Bye! -bye. bye.